Friends, let's understand ingratitude and how we can protect ourselves from such a devastating experience. Understand people can be ungrateful. People who are selfish, insecure, self-centered have the potential to be ungrateful. So don't be taken by surprise. Manage ingratitude gracefully. Let's prepare ourselves for this experience. Otherwise, it can make a powerful person weak. Shakespeare says, Ingratitude is stronger than traitor's arms. In the play Julius Caesar, the ingratitude of Brutus killed Caesar. Friends, Ingratitude can make a powerful person weak. It made the mighty Caesar weak. Majority of people focus on what they did, did not receive, what they didn't get from you, rather than all that you gave them. People will remember much more of what you didn't do for them than the abundant time, energy and generosity you showered upon them. Let's accept the lack of appreciation, the lack of good manners or the absence of a fair conduct of a person whom you know well. Let's accept their lack of compassion, their lack of grace and Understand it has nothing to do with you and everything to do with them. People treat other people in the same way they treat themselves. It's never about you, friends. You don't wait for others to give you a closure. You create it yourself. More than your love, your hatred holds you back. Be cautious. Because Whoever you hate occupies all of your time, all of your thoughts. The mind space is crowded with hatred. For your own peace of mind, avoid hatred. Never plan a revenge. Ungrateful people will face their karma. That's why we need to be prepared for ingratitude. A powerful suggestion, friends. Let's express our gratitude and not expect gratitude. I repeat, let us express our gratitude to one and all and let us not expect gratitude for any, from anyone. And if you live by this principle, you are a wise person. You are insulated from all the troubles, from all the worries. Think about it. Lead a wise and a peaceful life.